Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I'm going to do a run that I don't think I've actually done. I've got over 200 videos on this channel now and I'm not sure without going back. <laughs> have I done Canterbury to Ashford? You know, I think I might have done Windcheap to Ashford or Chillum or Chartham to Ashford. But I'm going to go along the old A28. So from Canterbury East here, which will take me through Chartham, Chillum, past Y, and um, yeah, into Ashford. I don't know where I'm going in Ashford, but we'll see. Don't need that now. Yeah, I'll shout out the hazards as I get to them. Entering a one-way system, because it's a dual carriageway. So sliding after the bus lane. We are on a Saturday morning at 8.49 and already wind sheep's clogging up. You know what it is though when you've got a stream of traffic in multiple directions and someone wants to pull off the main road and turn into a junction, they'll stop. They're not the there's kind of no gap from the oncoming traffic and the next thing you know you're in a tailback like this wannabe boy racer trying to race up on the right there I don't know if you can pick it up in that camera turning right, but that's fine, gives me enough room there. We're in a 30 zone, so um, yeah, I don't think we'll get more than the 20 that I'm currently doing. <laughs> Not in Winchieb anyway. So how long does it take? 15 minutes from Canterbury to Ashford? It's about 12 miles by road. But you just have to allow for traffic, don't you? One forty two a litre there. That used to be the cheapest place to get petrol in this whole kind of twenty mile circumference area radius but I paid 140, 141 this morning at my little garage at Barham and I always thought you know those little garages out in the sticks ramp their prices up because they know that their customers need to fuel up so um, yeah it's good that keeping the price favourable for motorists. It is indicating both lanes for straight on, but I know that after the next set of lights, that right-hand lane filters only for the um, A2, M2. So it wouldn't do to be in that lane and then have to try and force your way over onto this lane because you're in the wrong lane. need to change. I think they must set them like on a one minute timer or something. Right, we're in a 30 zone.
road narrows both sides. Do you ever get that where you're doing the speed limit and you're aware that there's someone right up behind you? And it's it's kind of intimidating because you think you should go faster because you're not going fast enough and hence the fact that they've come right up behind you. But what I like to do is stick to the speed limit. <laughs> and if they don't, you know, if they get frustrated, that's their hard lookout. I'll go fast enough, soon enough, when I get to the next zone. Right, we've got a bend in the road. And around this bend, the speed increases. Here we go, 40 zone. Yippee. This should be 40 all the way through till Chillum, I think. And then we'll get national speed limit. I'm going around the roundabout. Guess what I'm going to do, folks? I'm going to indicate. Car behind me, no indicators showing yet. Even though they could see mine on, it could encourage them. But no, no indication. Indicate off. Oh, they indicated off. They got the hint, didn't they? Pedestrian in the road. Not in the road, but on the pavement. Blind bend. Still a 40 zone. Might be a nice run if there's no hold ups from this point on. previous video with the repair fixed. Just seems to glide along. Still a 40 zone. But isn't it nice driving with the sun behind you? Right, we've got a stack of junction and crossroads and things. Just watch out for cars pulling out simply because they have to, because they can't see. So I'm anticipating it. He stopped, which is fine. Still a 40 zone. Oh, now we're getting to 50. We can increase that speed. Junction on the left. And a clear road ahead. How wonderful. Still a lot of low-hanging mist. We had mist last night. I woke up this morning thinking, oh, I could have taken photographs of that. But sometimes I wake up naturally at 5 a.m. And other times, like this morning, 7.30 a.m. Because <laughs> that's what happens on a Saturday, right? Back into a 40 zone. Oh, we've got roadworks and temporary traffic lights.
Hey, something momentous happened this week on my main channel. You know, this whole YouTube um, saga <laughs> where I run four channels, my photography, Drive With Care, my Tudor Travels, and my main channel, Tudor Smith. It, the Tudor Smith channel tipped over to 10,000 subscribers. Woo! So chuffed. <laughs> And many of you who follow me on this channel are also on that channel, so you'll have seen the, um, the little community post I did. It's, it's a real milestone, a real sense of achievement. It makes you realise that perhaps you are doing something, I wouldn't say right, but, you know, that people find interesting. And it's such a great platform for... <coughs> creating your own content and not being a TV star or something, you know, I love watching other people's channels and following their escapades, whatever they're getting up to, whether it's photography or travelling and I, I in the evenings I sit at home and I'll watch YouTube, I'll watch all my favourite people that I subscribe to I don't even watch terrestrial television I should get rid of my TV license I suppose but every now and again I want to watch Henry Cole you know the motorbike show or something so um, I suppose I could get that on Freeview couldn't I we are in a 50 zone I wasn't aware of that junction we're now in a 40 zone so yeah it tipped over to 10,000 fabulous now all I've got to do is get my driving channel and my photography channel and my travels channel, all of those three, up to 1,000 subscribers. Because once you hit the 1,000, it just kind of snowballs. It does take time. And I get subscribers dropping off left, right and centre. But for the ones that drop off, I seem to get three or four that add on. So, you know, that's the nature of the beast, right? Look at this lovely, lovely mist. get any kind of ethereal views as we go past the um, the fields. I've always known that when it's misty in Kent in the morning, it's usually going to be a, a balmy, hot day. Still a 40, junction on the right, and the junction is after the 50 mark. So we're now in a 50 zone. Now it's getting foggy. doing 50 this is a lovely stretch for overtaking <laughs> and especially now we're entering the national speed limit zone you could overtake but it's foggy and there are cars coming nice that they put the end so that you you know that there's nothing you know you're not anticipating something coming up ahead road signs are really good aren't they they're always very clear and it lets you know the layout of the road all the time oh this is a lovely drive back into a 50 into Godmersham. Of 
Godmersham was the home of Edward Knight, who was Jane Austen's br brother, big brother. Jane Austen's brother was um, Edward Austen, and his parents, George Austen, and the mother, whatever her name was, down that way, goes to Godmersham Manor, which was owned by Edward Knight. Now, I say Edward Knight, even though it was Jane Austen, um, Thomas Knight was second cousin to George Austin, had a vast fortune and estate, but because of the inheritance laws of the time, the estate would be entailed away, so he needed an heir. And so he adopted his second cousin's eldest son, Edward Austin, and Edward Austin changed his name to Edward Knight in order to inherit Thomas Austin's estate. So he owned um, Godmersham Manor. And Jane Austen would come and visit. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit into Jane Austen. <laughs> English literature. But you might know that if you're on my main channel because I've got a lot of Pride and Prejudice videos. Right, we're on 50 mile an hour zone. feel like you want to go faster. I think this used to be national speed limit, but because of the houses they've reduced it to. I've, I've travelled this road many times. I went to college in Canterbury, 93 to 95. Lived in Ashford, so I was back and forward on this road every day for two years. I went to Canterbury College. Junction on the left. Still a 50. Now we get to a national speed limit, which is on a single carriageway, single, single, yeah, single carriageway, isn't it? Sixty miles an hour. So we've done Chartham, we've done Chillum. Why is up on the left there? So we don't actually go into Y, but we skirt past it on this road. Bend in the road, camera says 19 minutes. I will have edited out some of the traffic light holdups. Staggered crossroads, reduce speed now. Is it called Staggered Crossroads? I think I saw it was called something else. Staggered Junction. That's what it is, Staggered Junction. Just got it in my head that it's always been Staggered Crossroads. Junction on the right. Bought Nalef. You know when I'm out doing these drives, I'm always, I kind of have one in mind. And then I like to throw, kind of record three or four at the same time, so that I can stagger them in terms of release on the on the channel. But I never know what route I'm going to take. And previously, with the good old squeak, it would be very much be a case of um, where can I go that the squeak won't annoy me. But now go anywhere, I could take country lane drive. Right, we have crossroads ahead. Car waiting at junction. An old Mondeo. Don't see many Mondeos anymore, do you? Don't see the Mark 1s or the Jelly Jelly Mold Mark 2s. Probably all scrapped. Certainly don't see many Ford Sierras around anymore, do you? I suppose that's the longevity of a car. 20 years on, that's it. You trade it in, they get scrapped. And sometimes they're scrapped, and there's not really a lot wrong with them. 
and here I am driving in 2008 Volvo and I'm f four years short am I? 2008 I'm trying to do the math here 2018 would be 10 at 6 16 year old car I've always liked that song by the police when the world is running down you make the best of what's still around <laughs> and you just you know still has all the old clutter Right, we're getting into Ashford now. Did that say we were in Ashford? 40 mile an hour zone. Where shall I stop in Ashford? Should we go to Bank Street? So a little bit of the ring road and um, pull up in Bank Street, I think, if I can. Or Tufton Street. Somewhere around there. We'll get into the town centre anyway. Because I like long videos because if all of you watch the videos all the way to the end then that's more viewing time for me so if I knock out a 10 minute video it's not really a lot of viewing time is it I think my Dover to Margate video is like 40 minutes long <laughs> ironically and that was four videos five videos ago but that goes out this morning on the 21st of September which is when I'm recording this so I'm talking about it and you haven't seen it yet but you have seen it yet because that was five videos ago <laughs> was it four videos anyway lots of videos ago I'm just doing the drive I'm not really shouting out hazards and instructions am I maybe that's the thing just do the drive Tudor just shut up and let us watch the road. Ah, Faversham Road. No, it says Canterbury Road. This is Canterbury Road. I am um, 1986. Or was it 88? Probably 88. 87? I had a job for six months as a milkman working for Unigate and this was my road I was delivering milk to all these houses I was so super fit then I was 23, 24 <laughs> already had four kids so necessity I needed a job and all that running and delivery I just shed loads of weight it was amazing for the fitness it wasn't a very good paying job but you know you take a job because you need a job right I'm so grateful that I went to college in 93 and passed my HND in software engineering because that's been my bread and butter ever since and now as I look forward to retirement which potentially looming I'm 61 but who retires I, I enjoy doing things and if I can earn money from it then if I still have my faculties I'll keep keep going but YouTube could be the new retirement venture especially with 10k followers on my main channel see it's not like Instagram or Facebook you could have 10,000 followers on those but Instagram uh, YouTube pays you if you monetize your channel, you get paid. Right, I'm going to sneak past the road sweeper, assuming he's staying left. Because I want to go straight on, don't I? Yeah, this has been a waffly um, video. Apologies for that, but sorry, not sorry, right? <laughs> you either watch it or you don't watch it turn the volume down. I suppose I could do a nice scenic drive today and have a nice um, bit of music. Someone wanted me to do, way back when, suggested I do something like Tenterden to New Romney or somewhere. It was a long drive, taking the back roads, and I think I tried it once, 
but the squeak drove me mad so I ditched the video so you've never seen it right I'm going to write at the lights so get in this lane into Ashford I settled here in 1982 at the tender age of 19 got married in 83 lived in Ashford all the way through the kids growing up years and left in 2008 so it's kind of home I do like Ashford I felt I felt I was home when I arrived here bizarre strangest feeling very pleasant changed over the years some things for the better some things for the worse I always enjoyed this road as a just a ring road one way all the way around it was so easy to navigate Right, I'm going right here. Let's go to Bank Street. I might have crossed the chevrons too early there, but I only saw them as I got on the road. So the road markings need repainting, I think. Didn't have my indicators on because it was the lane that only goes right. You could only go right, so. Right or wrong, I didn't have them on. Right, we're entering the 20 mile an hour shared zone. Pedestrians and traffic. Look at these trees, isn't this lovely? And the funny quirky street lights. Actually does look rather nice. I'm going right up Bank Street, so I have to go past this strange... I could have gone right that way, but I think I I feel I need to go right here. I cut in front of that guy. <laughs> I'm getting impatient now. Do as I say, not as I do. But it's a shared zone, so there's actually yeah, you can't pull up there now. There used to be a taxi rank there. We shall pull up in Tufton Street, which is just to the right here. Tufton Street when I spent all those years at the Ashford Christian Fellowship taxi rank here now which has now become a block of flats by the looks of it <laughs> ok that was a long one, long winded you know, I made a few errors there you know, and the channel's all about drive with care but maybe I should focus more on the road and less on the talking drop me a comment Tell me how I did it all wrong. I will um, see you in another video. I'm sure I'm knocking a few more out today um, just because I'm out. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye for now. Drive with care.